So, what is search engine optimization? Simply put, it allows your business website to rank high on search engines such as Google, Yahoo, and Bing. SEO has become increasingly crucial for the success of local businesses to gain attention. That's because 54% of Americans use the internet as a primary means of local searches, and 97% of consumers research information about a product or service before purchasing. That's why at Auxilium, we implement our award-winning, nationally recognized SEO strategy to get you results. This method establishes a strong rooting for your website across the web by integrating data into your online presence such as high traffic keywords and long tail keywords. By building these strong associations across the web, you can achieve ranking authority on search engines, making your business most relevant in your market. What's going on guys? It's Chubbs from the Dirty Road to Comedy Tour. I got with me Mr. Josh Hoyt. You know it. Filming some promos today, getting ready for the big show tonight. And uh, we're here with my sponsor, Picker Skateboards, and uh, we're going to go check out see what they got for us today. Skateboard. It's always fun finding clothes in my size. This will fit you. Do they have a casual male XT pick row? Yeah. <laughs> A 4X? Is that what you said? A 4X? Oh, come on. <laughs> so I'm not looking for boards for skating. For me, it's more the physical comedy. Oh, now this is the one. Reminds me of Bebe's Kids Bebe's from the Kids. early 90s. <laughs> if you don't know Bebe's Kids, please, please research classic cartoon movies from the early 90s. Make sure you guys swing by and uh, pick up a board, pick up some shoes, and uh, say hey to one of the wonderful staff. We're on our second stop for the Dirty Road to Comedy Tour. And uh, we're at another one of my sponsors, Old Mother Brewery. We're supporting Frederick today. And uh, why don't we go inside and see what's going on? I'm Chubbs the Comedian. Old Mother is one of my sponsors. So let's give it out for them. Yeah. Happy two year. Come on now. This is stage fright, guys. It's delicious. Once it hits lips, it just goes down so nicely. You're fantastic. It does, like, I didn't know you could have like a real fruit beer and raspberry sour. I don't even like raspberries, but I will drink this all day. I don't all like, day long. I don't like sours, but I would definitely drink this. Mm, I do love sours. It is, it is delicious. We're out here getting uh, some wonderful s'mores. S'mores table, where do you ever see s'mores tables? Sweet baby Jesus. This is a... Uh, this is proper s'mores etiquette. Oh my God, it's still on fire. When old mother throws a two year birthday party, they know how to do it. It's s'mores people. Craft beer, s'mores, chubs, Josh Hoyt, who is seriously having issues. <laughs> I haven't figured out the top side yet, okay? Oh my God. At Mayhor Health, we believe that everyone should have access to primary health care, and our mission is to make high quality, affordable health care a reality in our community. Mayhor achieves this through providing primary care physicians an easy to implement technology platform that provides both a predictable patient panel and predictable monthly payments. By providing all this with marketing expertise, Participating physicians can expect to not only increase earnings, but also reduce costs. And all this at no cost to join. So what can you expect from Mayhor Health as a primary care physician? Well, uh, what gave me confidence uh, to uh, embrace this system was uh, I was uh, looking for a direct pay model. And here comes Mayhor Health which is not only providing me with direct pay model, but also providing me with technology, and they are going to provide the marketing for it. My name is Lee Tompkins Stern, and I am the owner of Manifest Coaching, and I opened a coaching business in order to help empower people um, 
to live the best type of life that they could possibly imagine. There are many life coaches out there. Uh, personally, I feel that I um, am a little bit different because I also have a counseling background. Those things combined, I think, um, make the coaching experience with me a very unique one and um, a very rich one. The main thing that I found is how friendly people were. How uh, they would, they came up to me. They asked me if I had been here before. They started explaining the history of Quakerism. When I see a new person at the meeting, having just started attending Langley Hill myself, just a mere three years ago, um, I do see myself in in a newcomer. It's a a noticing community, and it's a caring community. Quakerism, to me, my experience with Quakerism has been an internal experience, along with being part of a community that's very accepting and very open. In this video, we will see an animated version of Exercise 1 and the intended movement of the prop. When the prop comes to rest and the rigging is slack, the prop should have six inches of clearance between it and the cones. Building strong, and we concentrated on our goal, achieving 70% market share. Over the past five years, we have done this by focusing on organizing, training, and education. Well, I was like the rest of the people up there, you know, I had to have a job. I got to support my family, even those barely above minimum wage. My first day on the job, I was amazed at how deplorable the working conditions were for the people in there. It was very hot. Right now, during the summer, it's not what you enjoy to walk into every morning, knowing that the temperatures can be 95 degrees outside. You're walking in, and by lunch, it's already 110 inside the building. You're covered in black dust. But I was always used to it. I thought that was normal for that kind of factory. The guys I work with at the plant at Royal Oak, I got them all together and I said, look, we can improve things here. We can make things better for us. Joining up with the union has opened doors that I didn't know existed. It's given me a voice that I didn't know was there. This is America, where the sky's the limit. Where an honest day's work means an honest day's pay. Anything's possible, as long as you work hard and play by the rules. But some dishonest contractors don't. They cheat their employees, steal from honest companies, and rob our communities and our country. Every tax that's not paid affects schools, affects hospitals, affects municipalities. Uh, all those services are being rendered to those that aren't paying the taxes, but the rest of us are paying for it. Dishonest contractors pay their workers as independent contractors when they clearly shouldn't, or, more often, completely off the books. In order to evade Social Security and Medicare taxes, workers' compensation, unemployment insurance, overtime pay, and safety protections. In Texas, for example, just recently, it was discovered that about $1.2 billion was lost 